everyone. This is Mad Max, and this is my first uh, Adobe After Effects tutorial, I guess. Um, we're going to be doing it on motion tracking, which you see in a lot of uh, Call of Duty montages and even some Halo 3. Uh, I did it in my X Looking Hero trailer, and uh, I'm going to show you how you do it today. So let's get started. Um, you want to uh, find your footage and drag it in the uh, composition, of course. And um, you want to double click on your footage um, once you find the actual file, like I had mine in the other composition. So this composition right here has uh, the original file, and you want to double click that. And it brings up this screen, and it, all it does is it just shows the layer. And you can scroll through the frames, everything like that. And um, so you want to go to Window and click on Tracker. And this will bring up a little tracker down here. And all you have to do is go to um, Layer, New, Null Object. So that will create a null. And um, you're going to click back in your composition. And we're going to click on uh, Track Motion. And it brings up uh, this little track point thing. And what you can do is you can go ahead and drag it to wherever you want to track. If I wanted to track the, you know, the this thing of the BR, you know, uh, the wall to have text moving you know, with the video. But I'm going to motion track uh, this grenade right here. So I'm going to like motion track right in the middle. And uh, what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead one frame. And it actually analyzes the frame. So it'll try to guess where the middle point would be once again. And so you go ahead and you do this one frame at a time really slowly. And you try to keep up uh, with the middle. So that, yeah, see, there you go. Um, this has to stay right in the middle, and it's uh, it's a long process, but it really has a nice um, outcome. So go ahead and track these points. And see, it really it follows it pretty well, but sometimes it messes up and you have to fix it. So here we're going to move this down a little bit, so a little bit of Twix or distortion on it, but not too much. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to the middle of the grenade. Oops, see I messed up a little bit. See where we are in this. Okay, we're about a little bit over halfway. Okay, so I think that um, that's about enough frames. And now, now that you have this motion tracked, what you want to do is go edit target. Make sure you have your your null that you put in your composition selected. And you go okay, and then you apply dimensions X and Y, press OK. And what that does is it makes your null object, it gives all the information of the keyframe that you just did to your null. So now if you move this along, you'll notice the null object is moving to the grenade perfectly. Okay? And... Okay. So, what we're going to do is, I kind of did mine a little bit differently, so... Your null always stays at the top of the video, so this is like my final video, right? So I'm going to have my null in here. And um, and so it follows it. And now what you want to do is you want to, you know, if you want to just type some text, you know, like that or something like that, and you want that to uh, follow it, you know, then you know, that's what you do. But I actually pre-made some stuff that I want to put on here. So I am going to get this and bring it in here. And so I have this thing that says frag grenade. And I'm going to have it circled like this. And I'm going to drag this below the null object. And 
see this little pickwick tool it's a parenting tool and you drag it to the null and it gives um, all the information and all the keyframes for position, scale, everything like that it, it copies it pretty much to the text so now the text is parented to the null and it will move along with it so if you watch it now it follows so if we did a little bit of RAM preview here and go ahead and watch that it follows it perfectly so that's pretty much um, motion tracking uh, pretty basic uh, tutorial of it without having to deal with you know scale or rotation or anything but um, that's pretty much it so it's a really useful tool and uh, you can create some really nice things so uh, go ahead and check it out and uh, hope you like this tutorial and I'll be coming out with more pretty soon thanks